So typically we charge for this, but just for you guys, because you're poor, um, we'll do it for free. <laughs> I almost spit my water out. That's funny. Okay, I'm completely joking. Hi guys, I'm Jade. This is... Think Science. And today we're going to roast business ideas from TikTokers. Are you ready? Yes, I'm so ready. And if this video gets 10,000 likes, the top comment will get $100. That's a free hundred bucks. It's a free hundred bucks. Just All you gotta do is smash the like button. Smash it. I feel like such a YouTuber. Contra here is gonna pick from this hat of like people we can roast. So do you wanna mix it up? And oh yeah. Let's see. Come on. Lorraine merch. Lorraine merch. So Lorraine's merch, girliesxo.com. Let's go. What do you think? I actually like the way this looks. Honestly. Honestly? No, like this looks really good. Honestly, fire. I can't give anything bad so far. Honestly, the website also looks like him. Like I think it's very branded like him. And it looks great. I think it's actually pretty good. Let's see. Let's actually check if it's web it's optimized. It's not over the top neither because okay. oh, web optimized like for your phone. Yeah, some people's websites are not a vibe. They're on Shopify. You can see here. You can tell by the domain they're on Shopify. So you know that their domain is good. There's certain elements of e-commerce that could be added like reviews, testimonials. I see that they don't have an email mm, list. It looks like it could be a clothing No, it does. Like yeah, like that's why I really brand. like it. I and mean, I think that's the key with like merch. Like we're judging this not only. How are we judging this? Are we just judging based on the appearance or just like how well it's gonna? I do? guess all around. Like if I was not a fan, would I go and get this? Probably. Yeah. I mean, out of all the other merch we're about to like roast, mm -hmm. I would give it like a A tier. Like not yeah. S, but A. Yeah. All right, that's next nice. one. A some more sip. <laughs> <laughs> so Chase Hudson. Ah! It's the Nigerian Prince. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna say it's trash just because it's a little honey. I'm also gonna say it's trash because it's on Fanjoy. <laughs> like, it's not even his own domain? No, it's just Fanjoy. Oh God. Fanjoy makes sense to me if you like, you don't have a lot of traffic, but you're like, you're not really like, you know, getting there. But like, little Black honey. Of models, it, it looks like. Well, I'm trying to figure out what, where's the exact product that I'm supposed to be buying. One this review, like one review. Thing. Jeez, that's really, this doesn't look good. I'm not gonna lie, this doesn't look good for him. These look like pictures you take on your iPhone <laughs> <laughs> at night with your friends. Like, this isn't that good. Hoodie I can gang? I can't even read it. I can't read it and I can see like little specks of lit. Well, I can plus because I support black businesses. So. You support black businesses? Ah! Oh, can you explain the inside joke? Okay, where, do we, where do we get him, deep? Yeah. For some constructual feedback, I mean, I would first get on your own domain, maybe work on having, you know, because your audience is so diverse, making sure you're including, you know, keep in mind the models you use. And um, I don't know, just, <laughs> I don't know, like not get canceled. Okay, we're next up on the topping block is Charlie Jordan's Smoke Rose. Have you seen this before? Mm -mm. I haven't seen this. Okay, this is the first time you're gonna see this. She is selling smoke roses. I think it's like a, smoke I think oh, it's like a cone that you can smoke. Wow, I'm not a fan of fawn, but everything I'm seeing right now is nice. Hold up, bro, why did you interrupt the video? I know what you might be thinking. What am I thinking? I think that you're three minutes in watching this video and you kind of want to start a business. I do, but I'm not Charlie Jordan or Little Huddy. I don't have followers or a store. Well, 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 have you heard of Oberlo? Omelo what? Guys, today's sponsor of this video is Oberlo. Oberlo is an all-in-one platform to start a drop shipping store. Oberlo is more than a sponsor at this point, okay? They're my love. I fucking love Oberlo with a Burning passion. I mean, they could honestly take my firstborn child because I love them that much. If you want to start a business, but you don't have a product or you don't have any followers, this is the best way to start. Dropshipping is the ability to pick any product, launch a store, and then whenever someone orders a product, instead of you having to fulfill and ship the order, Oberlo allows you to connect with the supplier immediately and they will ship it out for you. So you don't even have to touch any fulfillment. So not only does Oberlo have the amazing tool and app where you're able to launch any store, but you're also able to market your store using all the courses they have. I actually created a course with Oberlo. This took nine months of production. I'm not joking. Um, it's almost as long as a child at this point. This is why Oberlo is like my love because they're basically my child I gave birth to. Anyways, I created a course at Oberlo about how to grow your store using TikTok. So not only do you have Oberlo as the app, but you have courses from me to teach you how to grow your store without any advertising dollars. I wanted to make sure the courses were extremely affordable so you can actually sign up for Oberlo for free. But if you want any of the courses, including mine, it's only $7.90 a month. That's it. It's literally cheaper than two Starbucks coffees, okay? You'd be making that money back by starting your own business and you're able to launch your store using TikTok, just like all these other TikTokers. 
burgers. All right, let's go back into roasting the video. Thank you, Overload, for sponsoring again. And make sure you check out the links in the description box to get Overload today. Honestly, packaging is the packaging is nice. pretty cool. I like how I like the pictures. If you scroll up and you see like the yeah, hat, this is good. That's a good showcasing of the product. Just just off the bat because like i look at it like if you're gonna do product you need to do it better than how apple does and this is really good it's clean. Where, you, where you scroll down and you immediately see the product do you have works. a step it shows okay, how to do it. okay okay and the story and yeah, this is actually really good honestly I think this gets an s tier honestly i think it's s tier too just because how unique it is i've never seen an influencer launch any product in this and like you know the cbd like smoke like uh, cannabis industry the packaging is sick i just the prices is this a right pricing for four Pedal cones? No. <laughs> no? They should be like two for a dollar. Really? Pricing is so important when it comes to marketing to your audience because I'm assuming Charlie's audience is a bit younger. That's the only issue I have with the product. It might not be the best fit with the pricing, keep in mind. I don't know, I like the concept. I'm gonna give her still an eight. Ah, I mean, it's still better than Lorraine's merch. Yeah. I'm gonna give Charlie Jordan an S tier. Yeah, S tier, I think so too, honestly. It's a really cool product. I just think you're gonna run into issues when marketing on TikTok with an audience that's predominantly younger. All right. This one is Charlie D'Amelio's ring light. <laughs> Charlie D'Amelio ring light. Oh. All right, let's see. Let's see this website. It's Charlie D'Amelio and Dixie's ring light. Oh, Charlie D'Amelio and her sister. Yeah. I don't know why. I really don't. Where's the photo? There's nothing. Where this is, is pretty bad. Where is Charlie and Dixie? I did not expect this to look this bad. Like, what? That's. Yikes, yo. Yo. 50 bucks. First of all, there's a couple of issues. When you search Charlie D'Amelio Dixie Ring Light, the first thing that comes up is on their homepage. It's the collection page. And when you're Google searching something, typically this is called SEO, right? If the first thing you click has nothing to do with their face, I feel like this is gonna have a massive bounce rate. And in e-commerce, if you have a bounce rate, say you wanna convert to sales, if people click off immediately because they can't tell who it is, you lose a lot of customers. And I just feel like it's not personalized at all. Honestly, we're being hard on Dixie and Charlie because they are Dixie and Charlie. Like yeah. this, this is okay. This is supposed to be Dixie and Charlie. Right? I wouldn't know this was Dixie and Charlie if someone sent me this. Let's Off the bat, I think it's some random cheap website for ring lights. <laughs> yeah, I think first of all, at least at the minimum, like real content, not the Photoshop, put it on your screensaver shit. Yeah, this is That's on the minimum. Uh, I don't even know. The product makes sense to me. I just don't think they should have done it this way. Like they did make a TikTok account, especially for the what? Ring light. And she it did. bombed. Wait, that? Their face is like Their really on it. On okay, there. so at least it's not like a random product. I mean, they really did print on it. Okay, how do we rate this? I think it's horrible. <laughs> I think it goes right there with right there with hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> they can be together. They can be together. They can be together. Oh. <laughs> they can't be together. <laughs> okay, next what one. do we have next? We have. Look at science. You're gonna literally look at that. I always... He literally puts his cheek like this. <laughs> okay, bad habit. I'm a champion. Okay. This girl has She's so good. many products, but she has a new one. She's Bad good. Habit Skincare. I didn't expect anything less than this. Backstory. She is a creative director and brand ambassador, so she was also behind not only promoting the product, but designing it, which you can kind of tell from the vibe. Bad Habit. It's very in your face, the way it sounds. The way this looks, got little slashes through the words, movement throughout the um, scroll down. The colors are really in your face, too, for the name Bad Habit. This is really good. And I don't even watch Emma Chamberlain. This is good. Wait a second. Why is it on Morphe? Hold up, hold up. Oh, wow. Wait, wait, wait. They have a website and it goes to Morphe? Why? She like, is this part of Morphe? That's so strange to me. I actually like to accept this. It's a little weird, I'm kind of confused. That's kind of weird. So it I must be something like how, what's your name does that uh, 50 Beauty thing, but it's still under that one store. Sephora. Sephora, yeah. yeah. But that's a little different. Okay, you're right. Maybe Morphe's trying Maybe to that's be what that the is. Sephora. Yeah. That's interesting. I mean, that's fine. There's a couple issues with this. In terms of when you direct people to a next web page typically that there could be a bounce rate with that as well so you want to avoid that as much as possible but anyways let's just talk about the product itself honestly when you look at the packaging and emma i think it's a you can see emma through her it's very like messy kind of like a little bit imperfect and i like that it's really in your face i can see it doing really well since king science is viral expert maybe you can talk about their, their tiktoks what do you think about it okay it's hard it's so hard to like make a good product uh, page hey right good now. news bad habit is available in select ulta store yeah, it's so hard to do a product-based TikTok. It's really hard. It's just 
terrible. What is the song? I don't know. Oh, they're trying to use the original sound. I think a lot of brands go into TikTok pages thinking they have to market their product. You want to market the culture. You want to meme yourself. And I think a lot of people take themselves too seriously. And that's just not how the platform works. Like, I don't see myself following this page, personally. If you're going content-based content, content based into something that's like video or something like that, you're making a whole page for it, you yeah. need to make content for it, not ads. Pro yeah, ad exactly. Content, yeah. not ads. There's a different place and time for that. Yeah. Oh wait, where do you put Emma? Honestly, I put Emma, I feel like she's above Lorraine. Yeah. It's S tier, but there's a couple of room of improvements. Yeah, there's a little bit of improvements, but she killed that, honestly. Yeah, Pretty honestly. Good. Next one. Let me put your feel your soul. Ooh. Okay, I've never heard about this before, have you? Nope. 320k followers, they're doing pretty good, honestly, for like a, a brand I pretty haven't heard. You can yeah, tell when a brand's making, like content making content versus ads. And they sell Vans shoe inserts mm -hmm. or for Converse. I don't think it's by an influencer, I just think it's a brand, but they have a really good TikTok and we can watch a quick video. Today I'm making your pair of Converse roller skates. First I grab the metal insoles, drill some holes, put the trucks in, and then the wheels. And then package them up in a filters little tote bag and put some footsals in. Wow. A sticker, and then they were ready to be shipped out. Honestly, this is content on an ad. That yeah, that, that didn't feel like buy this and with some cheap song in the background. <laughs> That is literally every ad. Also, shout out to Converse. We love you. Oh yeah, I love Converse. I have my, I have my golf floors on. I do too. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I do too. Yeah, <laughs> this is my shoes. All right. <laughs> nice. You guys don't know, Converse sent some swag to Science and I, but it's because we work with them. And we love them, I obviously. Love Converse. Okay, so feel your soul though. This is great. <sighs> this is great. I mean, in terms of the product itself, the packaging is- it's fun. It's fun. I love the borders, the small details. I mean, a couple of edits, I obviously would make sure there's reviews that for some reason there's not. But you know, for, for TikTok brand with uh, that I personally never heard of, I'm very impressed. This is- this is nice. I buy. This is a sock thing. Yeah. This is nice. This is nice. I love. I mean, the small details. Honestly, S tier. Yeah. S tier. Really interesting. I have to get some of the Converse roller skates. Honestly. Just to be. Feel that, your soul. That one indie kid. <laughs> oh wow! Yes. Uh, King Signs tea spray. <laughs> I didn't expect this to happen. Why is this happening? <laughs> they requested. No. <laughs> I don't have anything on that fucking stall. <laughs> there can't be anything. There's nothing there. Let's see. Wait, wait let's just see. There's, the... There's something hey, there. I have to get rid of it. <laughs> so S tier, right? S tier, right? <laughs> <laughs> First of all, tea spray. What's up? You actually, I mean, as much as you can shit on it, when it uh, was up, it did pretty good. It did really good. <laughs> <laughs> Coming soon though, new merch. We'll make a new, we'll make new stuff. New e-commerce. We'll put you next to Little Huddy and Charlie. Oh my god. We'll put you in, we'll put you here. We'll put you here. We'll put you in C tier. C tier, okay, we'll just put that in. We'll put that in. Right. Oh my god. <laughs> the coldest water. I think every influencer has beef with the coldest If you guys water. don't know coldest water, basically they're a water ball company that I think only this year started to take advantage of like creators. And when I say take advantage, I mean like, I, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna get sued, but like let's just say allegedly they offer creators with tens of millions of followers like just a water bottle for exchange of product. And they're very abusive with their rates. I mean, okay, take away the, the abusive relationship with influencers and creators. I just don't think the product is that magnificent. Yeah. I just don't think it's that great. Yeah, and the pictures are weird. Like, are, am I getting sold sex or mountains? Oh, where, like, oh. <laughs> I don't know what's <laughs> happening. Or am I getting sold a workout? <laughs> they give me like campfire vibes, but they're marketing to such a like a young generation. I'm so confused what there's, they're going there's for. There's too many different places they're trying to put this and it doesn't it's hard for me to like see who the audience is. I do have to say though, they did a really good job marketing two years like in a row. Like I've always seen this guy. Like you know what the coldest water is. I feel like I don't know if anyone buys it, but I think I saw it on Amazon. <laughs> Because I, I was there. trying to get a big water bottle. Really? Yeah. I just don't get good vibes from them. I it's think expensive, though. They are. I mean, I'd rather get a Hydro Flask that doesn't give me abusive creator vibes. What's lower than D? We don't even have a lower tier. No. I, I don't know. Going to the trash. <laughs> Sorry. Honestly, that gives Little Honey and Charlie get to go back up. <laughs> little Tra oh, Honey and Charlie are in C class. <laughs> They're in D. All right. This one is... 
Dough Baby? Dough Baby. Oh, this is my friend's company. So Dough Baby is eyelashes. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at some of their... Do you have a monolid or a double lid? Well, I have some news for you. A lot of Asians grow up and think that they either have a monolid or a double lid or one of each, like me. But really, they might not even have either. So let's talk about the six possibilities you could have. Monolid. Honestly, first of all, I have no idea that they're marketing lashes, which is good. Off the bat, it's a good start that they're not doing an ad and they're doing content. And as an Asian person that has these lids, I find it very interesting. Off the bat, when you click the link, it goes to a shop TikTok page, which is so smart because a lot of people immediately link to their website, but they don't have a landing page. So this is so smart. You can see for each TikTok, they link the products. So you can shop and click on it, oh, which is so good. Wow. Wait, it's, this website's kind of fire. No, it is. It's moving around and stuff too. This yeah. is better than Charlie and Amelia's website. Oh, it's way better. I like oh, it. And, and, and it. It has a pop-up? Okay, Perfect. okay, commerce, let's go. They have a whole section for reviews. Love that. Wait, what? what's happening? Oh, loading. Hey! Wow, they're doing a really good job. Oh wow, and they have like actual people that they're wow. talking to and answering questions. And they have a quiz, so you, because they have so many products, you can, you know, What shape find, is your eye? Which one did you, wait, that's a, this is interesting. These cartoons did you like most as a child? Oh, this is fun. So then they come up, you, they get your email at the end. It's kind of fun. And then they give huh. you a perfect product. That's actually so good. Consulting our lashes, we found the perfect lashes. Wow, S tier. Honestly, no, that's here. really fun. It's very interactive. I've never you seen wouldn't want to leave. You wouldn't want to leave the site. This yeah. is actually scary smart. Wow. All right, I think S tier. Maybe we should reorder this a little bit. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I'm sorry, Charlie Jordan. Maybe oh, like A tier, maybe. Maybe A tier. Because of that price. Because of the price point. A little yeah. need more market research. Emma, I love you. You're going to be S tier because of the, the shoe brand. Yeah, I think this is it. Yeah. I think this is it. So, something important to understand is all of these people are, yes, TikTokers, but at the end of the day, they're basically children, like us. Yeah. But you honestly can start a business anywhere. I did ask you guys to also comment below your business ideas, so we're not just roasting like A-list TikTokers, but also roasting and giving you guys feedback for your business. So I have one last one from the viewers. Oh shoot. Let's do a quick little intermission slurp. <sighs> so we have the last one, Lip okay. Obsessed. 50k followers, vegan and cruelty free, A. Eh? Wow. She's selling lip gloss. Vegan so let's take a look at this. Cruelty free, that's already a, up. I'm assuming yeah. it's this girl. I don't even be thinking about that. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. So this is the girl, this is her website. We're selling lip gloss, products, and bracelets. So let's just look at her TikTok just to look at the marketing Jeez. and then we can look at the product. She has, she has a website. I mean, you're already doing better than Little Huddy. You have your own website. Honestly, if, what song is this? Is this a trending song? Um, we I already got so. people singing it and doing better than what Emma nice. Chamberlain was doing with the, whatever that song was. Hi guys, so today I'm doing a day in the life of a teen entrepreneur. I woke up, made Aww. my bed, and also oh, wrote in my business nice. journal all the supplies and really stuff from my website. I love this. And then I put the shipping labels on these packages <laughs> and shipped those out. This is me getting all excited because we literally hit 49.8k. Nice. Mixture of your personality with the products, right? So there's a, you know, it's it's more unique. It like it's not product focused. It's content. I think yeah, definitely be uh, very personal in your in what you do, and if people are really gonna want your products. Yeah, honestly, we're really impressed. You already are one step ahead with your own domain. The only thing I would say is lip obsessed. If you're able to make sure your domain is fully one one uh, line, so lipobsessed.com, it will help with making sure that you're appearing on search. It's just hard for people to type this. That's a pro tip. I also recommend when you're looking at linking people to organize your website based on collections. So I think right now you have all of it in one page. I recommend maybe instead of just having the home page as like all the products, maybe you have like little squares of sections so people know what to shop so it doesn't just navigate to jewelry. Or you can even take it a step further and do what Dope Beauty's doing and link them to like a landing page that like shows people the product you're mentioning. Honestly, yeah. I think that's really it. That was, that's that's the effect it honestly yeah i will never like not like that do this and it's gonna help with your navigation i honestly think i give it i mean i put it up with the oh i better be king science i'm gonna go wrong who's king science <laughs> wow i don't know i don't know what the guy is i like this i like it we'll put you guys next to each other that's really good all right so to recap we have emma chamberlain heal your soul and doe lashes as s tier as our top e-commerce picks all right, so if you want to launch a business and grow using TikTok, make sure you check out Overload today. They have the app and my course all in one place. And all you have to do is check the link in my description box to sign up for Overload today. If you use any of the links, it does support my channel and I really do appreciate it. I've been getting tons of people saying that they love the course so far and it just, I just, 
it makes me cry. So if you want to make me cry in happy tears, of course, check out the link in the description box. And I can't wait to see you over there. Thanks guys for being on the channel. Thank you Contra for being on the channel and helping <laughs> us out. If you guys like this video, make sure you give this video a like. Make sure you guys follow it's King Science on TikTok. We're working on some fun stuff. Soon to be discussed. Like if you liked it, subs if you loved it. All right, thank you guys for watching. Bye!